Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create this sketcher in SolidWorks. So just I will go for SolidWorks and I'll enter into here new. I need to enter into part design. Say OK. Then next to that, I need to create one sketch on this front plane. As you can see here, this we call it as tree display. Under tree display, we are having here three planes. For example, I need to draw one sketch on front plane. Just I will go here with sketch option. Then before going to start sketcher, just I will create one horizontal and vertical reference elements. For that I will go for line and I am using one horizontal line for construction purpose with infinite length with reference to this origin. Say OK. Then one more I want with reference to vertical direction from this origin. Say OK. Then next to that, first I will create these two circles with considering of origin point as this. One circle with a diameter of 75, one more circle with a diameter of 80. So just I will go here with circle. We need to create circles exactly from origin point like this. Then to give dimension, we will go for small dimension. Dimension for this inner circle we are having diameter of 75. Again for outer circle we are having here diameter of 80. Just I will provide parameters like this. Then next to that, we need to create this profile. We are having one curve with radius of 15.5. So to create this circle, we need reference of this construction circle with radius of 63.4 exactly from origin. So again, I will go for circle. I will create one more circle from origin like this. This should be with construction. Just I will turn on here construction option. Save OK. Then dimension for this we are having here radius of 63.4. Here we are not able to give the radius directly. In that case, select the dimension. Go here with the leaders. Use this first option radius. Then dimension will be converted into radius. We need here 63.4. Like this you can give this radius dimension. Then next to that, with reference to this vertical direction, the clue it should start exactly from this 63.4 construction circle. We need one curve with radius of 15.5. So just I will go for circle. That circle should be exactly on this vertical axis. The two on this construction circle just like this. So to give dimension, I use smart dimension. Dimension for this we are having here radius. So just select the dimension, then go here with leaders, use this radius option, save OK, radius we are having 15.5. So just I will edit that 15.5. Then next to that, one more curvature we are having here with radius of 67 exactly from origin point. So in this case, I am not going to use directly circle. I am going to use here center point arc as we need only a sector of circle. So center point I am starting from here and we need to start that curve from here to here like this. Then dimension for this curve we are having radius of 67. Just I will go for smart dimension. We need here radius of 67. Then next to that from this end point we are having one inclined line with inclination of 50 degrees for reference. So for reference purpose, just I will go for line and I am using here construction exactly from this point to this construction vertical axis like this. Now to specify angle, we will go for smart dimension. Angle we need between this to this in this direction with inclination of 50 degrees. Then as you can see here, this point is able to move in vertical direction as we have not specified any proper constraints. Now you can see here from this point to origin point vertically we are having height of 50.5. So just I will go for dimension from this point to and this origin point we are having here vertical height of 50.5. So just we will give dimension of 50.5. Then later on that we are having one line. It should connect to this circle. So just I will create one normal line exactly from this end point to this one. 
Now, this same profile we need this direction also. For that purpose, directly I will go here with mirror option. I need to make mirror this and this. Then with the reference to this vertical axis, then we can get this side this. Like this. So next to that, just I will trim this unwanted elements for by using this trim option. I don't want this profile and this profile like this. Then next to that, same profile total we are having as you can count here. This is the first profile 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Total 10 we are having. So whenever you want to create multiple profiles by using original element with reference to rotation axis, directly you can go here with the patterns, open that and we are having with circular motion. So I am going here to use circular pattern. Now center point we need to select. So we need center point with reference to this. Then total instances we need here 10. Then entities to pattern. I need to make pattern for this. Again this and this. Then this one. So just say here. Okay. Now as you can see here entire 10 profiles have created later again we will go for trim and we will trim this unwanted elements just like this trim all whatever you don't want by using this trim main details option like this done then next to that this outer profile we have created here now we will go here with this small circle with diameter of 8 mm and this position should be exactly on this construction circle that to this construction circle should be tangent to this one. So just I will create one circle from origin like this. Then it should be with construction just I will turn on construction. Then we need to add relation between this curve to this curve tangency relation for that I will go here with add relation. We need relation between this profile to this profile. We need tangent. Say OK. Now that construction circle will be fully constrained. Then one more circle we are having here with a diameter of 8. It should be exactly on this horizontal axis that to on this construction circle I will create here. So I will go for circle. We need one circle exactly on horizontal axis that to on this construction circle here just I'll create one circle dimension for this we are having here diameter of 8 we will provide dimensions then same circle again we are having with reference to circular motion total we are having here 5 circles so again we can go here with circular pattern center point is this then entities to pattern we need to make pattern only for this circle then total we are having here 5 say enter and say ok here here profiles are showing in blue color it is nothing but under define it means if I try to move these profiles these profiles are able to move freely so in this case we need to apply some extra geometrical constraints so for that just I will go for add relation this point should be exactly on this construction circle make it here coincidence again clear selection same like that for one more any other point this point to this construction circle I will make it here coincident just say ok now you can see entire profile it is in black color and you can see it is showing fully defined so if you want to hide all these dimensions and relations at a time just you can see here this visibility option will be there you can just open that and you can hide or show whatever you want. Like for example here, I need to hide these relations. Just I will turn off this. As you can see relations will be in hidden mode. If you want to turn off dimensions also, just you can click on this. Dimensions will be in hidden mode like this. So in this way, you can create a proper fully defined sketch in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.